My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Assassination attempts are planned overnight. We discovered the plot. End of threat. I suppose. But what about the old man? Son killed, family name ruined, and he acts as if nothing even happened. Think he's even fit for duty? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Commander Morrow is the best the Penitus Oculatus has ever produced. You should be half the man he is. You misunderstand. It's just... I feel for him, is all. To carry a weight like that. It's got to take its toll. If that happened to me, I'd be a wreck. Move along, citizen. Excuse me, I think Ain't I'm safe, I expected. Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never could get the hang of that. All right, are you all just going to let me walk into the castle? Hey, you mix potions, right? <laughs> you threw me an ale. Mm-hmm. I am the Gourmet. I believe I'm expected. I'll just let myself in. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. Mm. The man's going it's to General to Tully is in his ilk that I want to destroy. Right to but I suppose destroying the Emperor soon you will, all see will be you even better. Today, all right, it looks like I need to enter over here. This must be the servant's entrance. Need something? Armor for Commander. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. I have a writ of passage. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I am I'm sorry. The clothes, of course. I I should have realized. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. Thank you, Commander. Focus on your targets. Is this where the Emperor sits? Is this his throne? The Imperials killed my father. I came back to Skyrim for revenge. And now I shall have it. Another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. 
Really? I went to all this trouble to put on this outfit and you mistake me for a delivery boy. You definitely misunderstand, for I am the Gourmet. The Gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Enough. The Gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Let us begin. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. Have you now? But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? You can add the carrots. Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? You must now add a splash of mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right. What next, then? One nern root. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Diced horker meat. Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. Of there course we go. not. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? There is one final ingredient. Here. Add this. Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Now, now, Gianna. You cannot resist me. I compel you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. <laughs> I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> All right. Which way is to the dining room? Quite a long way from the kitchen. After everything that's happened? You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. No more. Cold mead, hot tempers. These things happen. Quiet. Yet that recent business with the young officer. Here we are. Was it? Gods, How I'm dreadful. nervous. We'll go in Some just a moment. Your... Please, I'll serve. No, you just stand there and be amazing. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was... Just in case, I need to make a alone. quick exit. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one? Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, 
the Potage Le Magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as Emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... <laughs> Before May and the chef have poisoned the emperor, get them! What? No, no, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I. I'm getting out of here. How do they even know that I'm a vampire? So, I sense this is not the real Emperor. Hmm. Where are you? If there were time, I might try to turn him. But there isn't. was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> but I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. You would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see, an exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. What? That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. Is someone what was that? that? Hmm. All right, well, at least my invisibility is holding. I brought my father's great sword. So I can exact the proper revenge. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> really? What a shame. All right. So much for that. Well, a decoy. And the sanctuary is under attack. I wonder if they... They have alerted them. Maybe not. Let's see if I can get out of here. No. 
Are they really gonna make me kill all these people? Still enemies. somewhere that I can't be seen. Let's try this. Yes. All right, Shadow Mayor. I think our family might be in trouble. What? I need to get into my armor. Fighting off the Pinnitus Oculatus as the Gourmet would not be the smart thing to do. Seriously. Have you? I don't think so. All right, that takes care of them. But you know, before I enter the sanctuary, I'm a bit thirsty.
Well, I certainly have a bad feeling about this. Zara, he's been slain. and he just went down. Oh, who else I can't see in all this fire? Ah! There. No one needs to. Where's Vizara? So are you. The Emperor, it was all a trap. Someone set us up. Considering most of us are now dead, I assumed as much. This fire. You ask, no, I don't think it was you. Please. <laughs> well, maybe I did. But you saved me my sorry hide just now, so that we raced. Please, the fire, we have to hurry. So, thanks. We need to get out of here. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Yes. Come on. Where do we go? Where's Vizara? Listen. What? I am your only salvation. Night Mother. Come. Embrace me. Where are you, Night Mother? Look for a way out. We are not going to burn to death. I found a way. But it's only for me. Good luck, Nazia. Night Mother, take me. Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, we go to the sky. One 
Yes, Night whoa, Mother. Whoa, whoa, slow down. It's all right. I've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Hmm. I don't know, Babette. Looks like he may have suffered a head wound. Let's not let him out of our sight. I'm with you, Missy. All right. The Night Mother has spoken to me. There's something I must do. Babette, dear sister, let's go. All right, I am rather turned around. Is this the way out? Yes, it is. Here, over here, look how badly the sanctuary has been destroyed. Well... What do we have here? <laughs> Don't alive. push me. You're alive. Thanks, Sivis. <coughs> so, Astrid, how did you come to be in this predicament? Please, <clears throat> there is much I have to say, <clears throat> and not much time. I can imagine. <clears throat> I'm sorry, <clears throat> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus, Marrow, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone, forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Well, since you are about to die, I think it's only fair that you know that I'm already dead. There's nothing you could have done to destroy me, because you don't even know what I am. Don't you see? It was me. I do see. I, said you were, I know. You dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before. You, I thought I could save us. I was wrong, but you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Hmm. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. Yes, you are. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. 
You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. <laughs> oh, Astrid. The thing you don't understand. Release my soul. And let Sifis be the judge. Yes. But what you don't understand is that I led this family the moment I walked through the door. Astrid did the right thing. And now it's your turn. And really? Suffering. I think she needs to suffer a bit more, Nazir. Maybe you and Babette should step outside. All right, I wanted to pick up this blade of woe. There. I suppose it's symbolic, meaning that I am now in charge. How are you feeling, Astrid? <laughs> you know, when we first met in that shack, I dreamt of what it would be like killing you. <laughs> So now, unfortunately, I think I will let you die the easy way. <laughs> Goodbye. What? Hmm. There. Thank you. You're welcome. You are welcome. And if you weren't so burned, I might drain you of blood as well. All right, Nazir. Don't look so shocked. Astrid. By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. No, one day you will. Dear. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Yes, well, I feel a bit of pity myself. All right. I need to report back to the Night Mother. I cannot believe this, this sanctuary has been totally destroyed. Wow, I guess Crexus, Gabriella, they're all dead. Uh, and how did the Night Mother's coffin get here? Astrid is dead. Yes. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the Second must be eliminated. <laughs> I couldn't Speak agree more. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, Inform Nasir of your plans, for you are the listener, and must bind this family together. Yes, dear mother, yes. It is as you command. All right. Let's go. I hope these are Penitus Oculatus and not members of the Brotherhood. All right. Let's go talk to Nazir and Babette. <laughs> 